So this is part of what we would typically describe as an aftershock sequence in the aftermath of a major earthquake. So uh, after an event of this size, magnitude 7.8 uh, earthquake about two weeks ago, it is very much expected that there will be a sequence of earthquakes in the weeks and months following that earthquake, typically with gradually decaying size of the of the events. In this case, it's a significantly sizable aftershock uh, occurring two weeks after the main shock. It's an unfortunate consequence of this kind of disaster. This is part of the sequence of uh, kind of stress response. After a large earthquake occurs, it changes the uh, the forces acting on the rocks and the faults surrounding that main shock. In the case of a very large main event, like our 7.8 earthquake in this case, it produces a very large uh, area where faults that were nearing preparedness for an earthquake are pushed beyond that breaking point. And so in the in the weeks and months following a large earthquake, we can expect these events to occur again, hopefully in a gradually decaying manner so that they become less and less severe with time. This is part of the process of kind of responding to the stresses produced by this main shock. Uh, it typically the aftershock sequences start to die down after a period of days to weeks, uh, but already there have been 7,000 or more aftershocks recorded. Um, we will expect this to continue uh, certainly for weeks and perhaps months after this uh, main shock. And of course, buildings and areas that have been damaged by the main earthquake are potentially subject to further damage uh, associated with a large aftershock like this one.